Hello and welcome to another video. Today we have an Android TV box from Me Cool, and this is the KM9 Pro Classic. This is a Google certified box, so it is officially approved, so it should get updates and all that good stuff. Here we can see that it's got Google Assistant, Google Play, YouTube, Chromecast, and it supports 4K HDR videos. We have HDMI, internet, and streaming. In the box is a user manual, an HDMI cable, power adapter, and a remote. The CPU is a quad-core Cortex-A53 and GPU is an ARM G31 MP2. Here's the box itself. Let's just remove that plastic. And the power adapter supports up to 2 amps. A HDMI cable for connecting to the TV. Here's the remote. It actually looks very good, and the buttons feels very nice to click. Battery type is AAA, and we need two of them. The user manual is in the end of the video if you want to see it. The box is small and compact. On the front we have a light that we light up when it's powered on, and changes color whenever Google Assistant is activated. On the right side we have one USB 2, one USB 3, and a memory card slot that supports up to 64GB. On the back is the connector for the power adapter, HDMI port, Ethernet port and an AV port. There's nothing on the left side. Under is a sticker and vents for cooling. The remote has a power button for sleeping or complete power off. A mute button, navigation buttons with an OK button in the center, back button, home button, dedicated Google Assistant button, there's a built-in microphone in the remote, and at the bottom we have volume up and down. After connecting it and setting up your Google account, this is what you will see. This is the home screen, and we navigate by using the buttons on the remote. On the top row we have voice search, which can also be started by using the dedicated button on the remote. How tall is the iPhone? 300 meters, 324 meters to tip. We also have an on-screen keyboard if you wish to use that type of input. Next is the notification bar. And here are the settings. In apps, we can see recently used apps or all apps. We can also set permissions device preferences, and in about we can see the device name, KM9 Pro, we have Android version 9 that is pre-installed, and the latest security patch is February 5th. Here are some sound settings. In storage we can see that we have a total of 16GB and the SD card I have inserted is below. I currently have GB remaining to use, but that's after installing a lot of stuff. You have about 10GB available when you first start the box. We have some home screen settings. Google Assistant, which works very well, Chromecast, which also works very well, in advanced settings we have display, HDMI, playback settings, audio, power key and picture. The next row on the home screen is your favorite apps. And we can add new apps to the list from here. Next we have YouTube recommended videos. Next are featured apps from Google Play. And at the bottom we can customize the channels. Here we can add new stuff if we want to. By opening apps in the left corner we can see all the installed apps. Or we can open Google Play to install new apps. Here we have apps games, my installed apps for updating, 
and setting. The Sideload Launcher will show you any apps that are installed on the device, even apps that don't show up in the standard Android TV drawer. CPU set identifies the CPU as ARM Cortex A53 1.8 GHz quad core, and the GPU is a Mali G31. Total RAM is 2 GB. Let's quickly browse through the DRM info for those of you who want to see it. We also have a file browser where we can find any files on the system or download the files or files you have stored on the memory card. Here I have a 4K video sample that I downloaded, so let's try playing it. Playback is smooth and without any stuttering, so works just fine. We can also play games. This is Crossy Road, where we play a chicken that's crossing different obstacles. And I'm using the remote to control the chicken. Let's check out the YouTube app. It's a joy to use on this box and everything plays smoothly and loads quickly. Browsing through searches are also very quick. The remote control for this box has a built-in microphone for using Google Assistant, so let's test it a bit. Play rock music. Playing rock music videos of Guns and Roses on YouTube. What is the last Avengers movie called? According to Time Magazine, Avengers Endgame is the last movie in Marvel's Phase 3, which launched in 2016. As you can see, it responds very well, and Google Assistant is very good. Results pop up very quickly, and the voice feedback sounds very nice. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Tomorrow it will be raining, with a high of 49 and a low of 43. Let's try playing 4K videos in YouTube. The video stutters a lot while connected via Wi-Fi, but it only happens on Wi-Fi. So I guess it's not fast enough for 4K. But if you plug in the Ethernet cable, they all play perfectly smooth. As we see here, it's all playing without any problems. There's one more thing I want to show you that might be a deal breaker for some of you. If you start up Netflix, you'll see that we get an error message 
That's because Netflix is not supported on these boxes. It's not a problem with the Miku box itself. It's Netflix that has banned the Miku boxes. I read somewhere that there are some workarounds to make it work, but they still can't play in HD. So the resolution will be low. Anyway, overall this is a very nice TV box. It plays even 4K video smoothly. And the OS is very fluent and nice. There is the Netflix problem though, and I hope they will lift the ban soon. The rest is nice and the price is good. That's it for my video, I hope you liked it and click that subscribe button for more. Have a nice day. Bye bye.